uh, where rather uh, interpret as question. I do not know whether the accused also was sometimes placed in a position where Müller went over his head. Benjamin Rabin. In many matters of more or less considerable significance, Müller left discretion and decision for himself. This would sometimes even happen in routine propositions, which had no outstanding significance. This would repeatedly disrupt the orderly functioning of the service and other division heads also complained about it I have also had the experience that he himself was not particularly delighted to make decisions but rather whenever there were cases which exceeded the routine functioning of the service, he would apply systematically to his superiors and would obtain instructions from them. With regard to authorities which were his superiors, he was uh, cautious to the point of exaggeration. One could even speak about anxiety and uh, fearfulness in this respect. Lack of courage. As a result of this conduct on his part, it was uh, evident that he would be quite rough with the uh, people who were his subordinates. Until I learned about this, these peculiarities of his, it uh, would sometimes happen that he would also reprimand me in cases where I took the liberty of making my own decisions. The reprimand consisted of his taking me to task for having made my own decision. It was not that he cared about the nature of the decision I made. I do not know whether and to what extent such attitude prevailed also with regard to the department of the accused. There were, there were general complaints about this, <coughs> but I do not recall whether the accused made similar complaints. <coughs> Correction, Madam President of the Court, I cannot recall that the accused ever complained about any such thing. It would also happen frequently that Miller would not uh, accept without any argument decisions taken by his subordinates. But would rather make changes in these decisions or else uh, would insist that further instructions be received from his superiors. And then further down on page 10 in reply to question 14, if I said in my affidavit, which is document 874 on page 6, that in addition to his department, the accused also had an office in Prague. Then all I can say about this today, all I can recall about it today, is that he frequently traveled to Prague on business. I cannot say whether the accused had a special office in Prague 
simultaneously with his department in the head office of rights security or whether his administration of that office was merely a provisional affair. I no longer remember whether this current office was the central office for Jewish immigrants or what else. I do know that there existed such a central office and I, do, I also do know that the accused would travel quite frequently. But I do not know anything uh, as to whether his uh, journeys were connected with any uh, functions in another office which was outside of Berlin. Now on page 11. I was no closer than the accused uh, to him and in the course of I'm sorry, interpret this correction. I was not particularly close to the accused and in the course of our work there was no especially close contact with us. The only occasion which I recall of any close uh, contact between us was uh, in the course of a common journey which as far as I recall was to Prague. <laughs> Unless memory fails me, uh, this was when we traveled to take part in Heydrich's funeral. I traveled with the accused in his official automobile because I had no office car at my own disposal. President of Court, is that all? President of Court, continuing. We shall now come to Fontaden's testimony. I mark it with the Roman numeral three. President of Court, Dr. Savatius, which passages would you like to single out from this testimony? The protocol from Act sent in my 51 Amtsgericht Naus. It is a court record from the 18th of May 1951 in the uh, district court at Neuss. Schein unter anderem Seite 4, letzter Satz. Defense regards as particularly significant among other passages at the end of page 4. Tätigkeit beim Sonderbeauftrag der Wirtschaftsrahmen gehört. I have never heard anything about any visit by Eichmann to Athens in the course of my activity uh, in the Office of the Special Plenipotentiary for Economic Affairs. Now, page seven, last paragraph. Über die Entscheidungsbefugnis des Angeklagten kann ich keine Angaben machen. Mir ist kein Fall erinnerlich. Bis unten äh, von dessen Vorgesetzten Müller unterschrieben waren. It is the page, uh, in page 7, last paragraph, starting with the words, I quote, I can say nothing about the power of decision which the accused had, and I do not remember a single case, and so on and so on, until the last sentence in this passage, ending with the words, however, Müller was always, uh, always signed with such letters. Then the last sentence in the Behandlung von Duden ausgingen war für mich nicht erkennbar bis Ende des Absatzes auf der nächsten Seite von ihm ausgegangen wäre. 
מן הפסקה האחרונה בעמוד 18 The words, I would not assume that he was the origin of such regulations. Then, page 10, it is the passage before last. I have in Zusammenhang with the deportation of the Juden from Ungarn the report of Wesenweyer to the Auswärtige Amt to the Kenntnis bekommen. Der nächste Satz, nach diesem Bericht liegt auf der Hand, dass Wesemeyer dabei eine entscheidende Rolle gespielt hat. Bis dahin. הפסקה <laughs> And from there until the end of this passage, these are all the passages which I want to single out from Von Tadden's testimony. Doctor Lemishpatim Eberhard von Tadden. Doctor Yuri Eberhard von Tadden. Doctor Lemishpatim Eberhard von Tadden. My name is Doctor Eberhard von Tadden. I was born on the 7th of November 1909 in Berlin. I live in Bülerich, in the Grevenbrauch, on the line Lionstrasse 4. I am married, I have two children, a merchant by profession. And then on page 3. In the spring of 1943, I believe in the month of April, I was instructed by cable to return to Berlin and was attached to the inland group number two. At the head of this department was the advisor of the legation, Uh, the speaker, Wagner. Hurst Wagner. This section was under the, the subordinated to the state secretary Steingraft and he was the In the years 43 or 44, I was promoted to be a first class advisor to the legation. In the group number two, and I was with this office until the breaking down of the office itself. On page four, the Mahlekit Hamanganon Hasegel, in the establishment. I was a worker of a section for senior officers in the foreign ministry. At that time, 
Juden Referentin mit der Kinderin Jürgen Hat After receiving the consent of the country where they had to be posted, the police attaches had to take orders from the uh, ministry they belonged to at home. The head of the legation, according to the establishment, was in charge of the legation and in charge of the police attaches. But as far as the uh, the uh, orders, the uh, issuing of orders were concerned, he took orders from his office in Germany. The police attaché in fact received his orders directly. And as far as I know, the man who headed a political legation, a diplomatic legation, could cause that a police attaché who would not be interpreted, interpreted well in the legation, he could demand his removal. And then on page five. In the department, the inland office, Roman letter 2, I had first and foremost an interest in continuing the contact with the German service units of the SS, that is, with service units subordinate to the Reichsführer of the SS and head of the German police. My contacts in this general framework were only with the central bureaus and here I want to point out that the head of my department reserved the right to negotiate himself with members of those bureaus when the question concerned was a people of the rank of SS Gruppenführer or Obergruppenführer and according to the rank the head of my department held a lower rank than that held by the SS officers now discussed uh, framework of activity, I also had to take charge of functions actually belonging to other departments in the foreign ministry, but concentrated in the department for inland affairs of Roman letter 2 for the reason that the bureaus of the Reichsführer of the SS and head of the Reich Police were concerned with these actions. In the framework of my above described activity, I was also charged to keep contact with foreign German legations 
Nitsiguyot Arapsot. As well as with foreign legations within the state. And uh, this whilst I was fulfilling my other duties. Page 6. During the period of my activities, I also learned about the size and measure of actions taken against Jews in various countries. Only as far as I was supposed to contact whilst fulfilling duties assigned to me, I penetrated and learned about the procedure followed by the group and unit in charge of Jewish affairs. And which had arisen before I came to this section. Rademacher, my predecessor, did not hand over personally the area of my jurisdiction because Rademacher at the time was already a soldier. When I took over, Within uh, the framework of the uh, inland group, Roman letters, I had current contact with the accused whilst I was active within the framework of inland group number two. During the period under discussion, I was at first, uh, the rank I held was an advisor to the legation or uh, an advisor to the government, the Yilsrat or the Yilsrat, later an advisor of the first rate. And as far as I know, Eichmann held the rank of SS Obersturmbannführer, which was considered, as far as I know, and was of the same rank as Oberregierungsrat. Page 7. I had current contact by means of telephone with the accused or his office, Ginter and Hers. Or I sometimes corresponded with his office. But not there were connections between the head of the department, personal with a central authority and the state secretaries when the head of his department stays abroad. I myself, for instance, once had a matter with the Prime Minister in Greece while I was active in Greece. In my contact with the accused and the unit he headed, I had the privilege to decide 
only in the negligible matters. In other matters, I have to submit the question for the decision of the head of the department concerned or to my superior. When I say I had to put the question before, I mean to the administrative channels bringing the question in the ordinary way to the deciding authority. אצל הרשויות הממונות עלי, המדובר כאן הוא ראש האגף, במזכיר הממלכה לא אוכל למסור דברים על זכות ההכרעה שהייתה בידי הנאשם. לא זכור לי אף מקרה אחד אשר בו הכריע הנאשם הכרעה אשר אוכל לומר עליה שהיא חורגת מתחום פעולתו וסמכותו של ראש מחלקה כפי שתחום זה ידוע לי מפעולתי שלי. אולם לא יכולתי תמיד ללמוד מן הבעות עמדה שהביע הנאשם שהגיעו לידי, אם אכן על אחריותו שלו הכריע בדבר, או אם פעל or acted as a result of directions given to him. I still remember documents relating in themselves to Eichmann's department bearing the signature of Miller, his superior. I remember, for instance, an order על האפשרות להחזיר למולדתם יהודים בעלי נתינות זרה בצד זה היה חתום בידיו של מילואר. המדובר היה בצו המוצע בדרך מכתב חוזר אשר מוצע על ידי המשרד הראשי לביטחון הרייש This originated from the head security officer of the Reich, directed to the units subordinated to this head office, and to the foreign ministry for information. I do not refer to a single case. רוב המסמכים שהגיעו אליי ממחלקתו של הנאשם היה חתום עליהם הוא או אחד העובדים הכפופים לו. אינני יכול לזכור מקרה שבו הורה לי ראש האגף שלי לשאת ולתת ישירות עם מילר על עניינים שהיו בתחום סמכות מהחלקה אייכמן ואשר היה לעקוף אותו בטיפולם. הדבר נראה לי בלתי אפשרי כבר משום ש... כבר משום שרק אילו היו יוצאים הדברים מן החלונות הגבוהים ביותר, זאת אומרת, מזכיר המערכה או המיניסטר, הייתה יכולה להיות הצלחה בעקיפה בעניינים שהיו נוגעים למחלקה אייכמן. 
אני יכול למשל עכשיו לזכור את פרשת הילדים בונדי. בעניין זה השתדלה שוודיה להשיג היתר יציאה לילדים אלה. לשכתו של הנאשם דחתה מתן היתר יציאה זה על אף השתדלויות חוזרות ונשנות. In spite of repeated interventions and re-adaptations, a short time before April 45, finally, the consent was given by Eichmann's department. עד כמה שנתרשמתי מכל התהליך הזה, הייתה זאת הכרעה אשר... נתקבלה אצל הנאשם על יסוד התערבותו של מזכיר הממלכה במיניסטריון החוץ, אשר הורה הנאשם על ידי הממונה עליו. אינני זוכר ברגע זה מקרים אחרים אשר בהם עקפו או ערערו החלטות מחלקתו של הנאשם. אך אינני רוצה לומר בזאת שהיה זה המקרה היחיד. מיניסטריון החוץ דרש עקרונית את שיתופו בראיות שנגעו לטיפול the accused should be consulted. The superiority of the head office of the Reich over the foreign ministry was כאשר מדובר בזכות ההכרעה בין השניים. אינני יכול, אולם אינני יכול לזכור מקרה כלשהו אשר בו נתגלה ריב בין מיניסטריון החוץ ובין המשרד הראשי לביטחון הרייך בעניינים כאלה. עמוד תשע President of court, Mr. Rosen, the official interpreter, would you please stop here? We shall take our break now. Mr. Hausner, could you perhaps shorten this procedure and follow Dr. Savatius by just quoting the beginnings of sentences with the exception of passages which you, sir, regard as outstanding being quoted? Mr. Hausner, I should try to do that. President of court, we should take a 20-minute break.
Dr. Servatius möchte nicht. Das geht nicht. President of Court, please quiet in the hall. Mr. Hausner, I skipped a number of passages from this testimony as well as from the other testimonies. My colleagues are now dealing with another testimony where we shall skip many passages we intended to quote. Page 9, the second paragraph. The requests made by the Foreign Office to grant a special permission were transferred through me to the accused's office. If the accused could decide themselves in such matters, I do not know. As has already been said above, I could not know from uh, the standing taken by his office if the decision was taken by him personally from time to time. Within the framework of my work, I also learned about affirmative decisions, that is, uh, favorable decisions in regard to Jews taken by the accused's department. 
רשויות יוצאות מן הכלל כאלה בכינוי פוק ברכיים את עמדתי כאשר השתדלתי אצלו His approach was cruel. And then skipping apart, I come to page 11, the middle of the page. It is correct that I did travel on duty in the spring of 44 to Hungary. I visited at the time by order of my office not only the Sonderkommander Eichmann but also other units and this concerns units of service with which my department was concerned. The reason for my uh, travel and journey was that the, my superior wished to give me a few days of peace <laughs> because of the bombing of Berlin which were increasing at the time. I drew up two reports in respect of this visit of mine. One report was sent on to the head security office of the Reich and another report for the internal use of the foreign ministry. I expressed my opinion that the Sonderkommando Eichmann is is working in Hungary according to a defined and cruel plan. I did not know how much of this plan was agreed upon by Eichmann and other authorities. I myself was shocked when Eichmann told me about the plans. I was other workers of the uh, foreign office were of the same op opinion uh, that Eichmann's plan, the implementation, uh, must be stopped at least to gain time. As far as I know, the plan was not implemented in the way Eichmann described to me in Budapest. According to the original plan, this concerned the forcible deportation of all the Jewish population in Budapest to an island on the Danube. and to concentrate the Jewish population there without the necessary preparations. Now I come to page 12. When the matter of the deportation of Jews from Hungary was discussed, always the East was mentioned as destination. From time to time, the name of the Auschwitz camp was mentioned. President of Court, a small correction of the version presented by the official interpreter. I don't see the words from time to time. It has been mentioned. Mr. Hasner, uh, this is out of von Taden's testimony, and we come to the testimonies from Hungary. By permission of court, uh, President, of court. President of court, we have to uh, see whether Dr. Savatius wishes to say something first about Jutner's testimony. Uh, 
this testimony will be marked with a Roman numeral 4. Dr. Savatius, which passages do you wish to single out and emphasize from Jutner's testimony? Dr. Savatius, there are two passages. From 15 June 1 and 60. Auf Seite 2 under Römisch 1. Zu der Behauptung des Angeklagten heißt es am Schluss von Ziffer 1, meine Auffassung, der Angeklagte Eichmann sei für den Fußmarsch verantwortlich, beruhte maßgeblich auf der Information Winkelmanns. Und auf Seite, zwei, auf Seite 3, Römisch 2, Ich habe mit Winkelmann nicht darüber gesprochen, wer für die Initiative des Transport und für deren technische Durchführung verantwortlich sei. Eine Erörterung hierüber erübrigte sich, nachdem Winkelmann erklärte, er sei ausgeschaltet, aber mit der Sache nichts zu tun. Es werden Dokumente vorgelegt, werden die das etwas anders sein. I'm reading from the transcript of uh, the interrogation by the district court, Bad Tölz, B-A-D, T-O-L-Z, page 2, Roman numeral 1. It says here at the end, my conception that the accused Eichmann had been responsible for the foot march rested chiefly on information presented by Winkelmann. Winkelmann. <laughs> From page 3, section marked with a Roman numeral 2, I have not spoken with Winkelmann about the question as to who was responsible for the initiative and the technical implementation of the transport. A discussion of this subject was superfluous after Winkelmann declared that he had been excluded from the entire affair and had nothing to do with it. מאחר שווינקלמן הצהיר כי הוא נעקף וכי אין לו מגע עם עניין זה. אני סימנתי קטע חקירת העת הנס יוטנר. שמי הנס יוטנר, אני בן 67 שנים, נשוי, בעל בית מרפא בבת טולס, רחוב הרדר אחד. בעמוד 2, פסקה 1. בנובמבר 1944 נסעתי בלוויתו של אוברשטורם בנפירה בכר מווינה לבודפשט. בדרכנו בשטח ההונגרי פגשנו בטורים של יהודים במשמר של חיילי הונגרית הונגרית אשר נעו לכיוון וינה. 
they were moving towards Vienna. He told me that we shall meet the Standard Eichmann. I asked him, what does that mean? Because I believed this to be a military unit. And to this, Becher explained that this is a transfer of Jews from Budapest to the Austrian border. When I saw those moving columns, I went up to an SS man in Budapest, Budapest, to find out who was responsible for this transfer and to put forward representations. Winkelmann knew about these deportations. He expressed himself saying that he has no hand in this, these matters, they were Eichmann's doing. And then I asked who was Eichmann. Winkelmann explained that he was the man who headed the unit in the Red Security Office, not subordinate to himself, that is, to Winkelmann. According to Winkelmann, Eichmann is the head of this department dealing with the Jewish people. In my opinion, Eichmann, the accused, is responsible for this crime, and this is based on the information given to me by Winkelmann. Number two. The younger officer at the time, who came to me in the name of Eichmann's unit, and to whom I voiced my representations, told me that his unit is under the jurisdiction of the secret police, of the Life Security Office, orders are issued by this department, and that I am not at liberty to criticize. He spoke to me in a very haughty tone. I was told that Eichmann is not present, and that this young officer was sent by him. Mr. Hosner, I should like now to take up Grell's testimony. President of court, I shall mark the Grell testimony with the Roman numeral 5. Dr. Savatius, uh, what do you, sir, wish to single out from this testimony? There are, Dr. Savatius, there are several passages. Es Niederschrift vom 14. Juni, Amtsgericht Berchtesgaden. This testimony is incorporated in the transcript of the District Court of Berchtesgaden, the RCH, PSJDN, 14th of June, 1961. Meine当时的心情，我当时的心情，我当时的心情，我当时的心情，我当时的心情，我当时的心情，我当时的心情，我当时的心情，我当时的心情，我当时的心情，我当时的心情，我当时的心情，我当时的心情，我当时的心情，
בעמוד שלוש באמצע, יסוד גבוהותיי ניתן שירות בשטח התחבורה. On this page, the concentration and seizure of Jews in Hungary occurred upon instructions uh, by the Hungarian Ministry of the Interior and was done by the Hungarian Gendarmerie. בעמוד ארבע למטה, פסקה אחרונה, כשנתעוררו קשיים נתערב בעניין גם מפקד משטרת הביטחון האוניברסיטאוניברסיטאוניברסיטאוניברסיטאוניברסיטאוניברסיטאוניברסיטאוניברסיטאוניברסיטאוניברסיטאוניברסיטאוניברסיטאוניברסיטאוניברסיטאו
hat Eichmann nicht sabotiert, den Absatz bis unten, äh, Fotokopie mir soeben von der Anklage vorgezeigt wurde, er hat mich aufrecht. Eichmann section of this page, Rashi page Bell, 9, it begins ah, with the words, Jamlo Eichmann did not sabotage, but also did not welcome the protective measures, that is to say, uh, what were called at that time protective aspects. And then, as I said, the rest of the paragraph, ending with the words, the photostatic copy, which I have just been shown by the prosecution. Dann auf Seite 10, der Absatz unten beginnt, ich halte Eichmann zwar für den verantwortlichen Leiter seiner Dienststelle in Budapest, aber nicht für den Mann, der initiativ und maßgebend von sich aus auf seinem Fachsachgebiet tätig gewesen ist oder werden konnte. Dann bis sechs letzte Zeile, den ihm gestellten Auftrag gerecht zu werden. פסקה שלישית ואחרונה בעמוד עשר, נקרא את הפסקה, אמנם סבור אני שאייכמן הוא אשר היה המנהל האחראי בבודפשט, אך לא האיש אשר פעל או יכול היה לפעול But he was not that man who could use his initiative and decision uh, in this field or who could have used them. And then the rest of this passage until we get to the sixth line from the bottom, ending with the words uh, to fulfill his duty as properly as he could. עוד יש נקודה חשובה בעמוד 6 למטה. חשוב בפסקה הזו מה שאפשר ללמוד מהלכת התצהירים של ליכוד.